Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about life. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of life is John chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only born Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of life is found in James chapter 4, verses 13 through 17. It says, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow let's go into this city and spend a year there, trade, and make a profit. Yet you don't know what your life will be like tomorrow. For what is your life? For you are a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. For you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will both live, and do this or that. But now you glory in your boasting. All such boasting is evil. To him therefore who knows to do good and doesn't do it, to him it is sin. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Romans chapter 6, verses 20 through 23. It reads, For when you were servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit then did you have at that time in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin and having become servants of God, you have your fruit of sanctification and the result of eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Passage number 4. This is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. The scripture says, You were made alive when you were dead in transgressions and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the children of disobedience. We also all once lived among them in the lusts of our flesh, doing the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and made us to sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, that no one would boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before that we would walk in them. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible says, Yahweh God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of life, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on life. Passage number 6 is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 30. It says, Therefore I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor yet for your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothing? See the birds of the sky, that they don't sow, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you of much more value than they? Which of you by being anxious, can add one moment to his lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil, neither do they spin, yet I tell you that even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today exists and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, won't he much more clothe you, you of little faith? Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. The Bible says, Not that I speak because of lack, for I have learned in whatever state I am, to be content in it. I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In any and all circumstances I have learned the secret both to be filled and to be hungry, 
both to abound and to be in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of life is from John chapter 14, verse 6. It reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, except through me. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from John chapter 5, verse 24. The passage states, Most certainly I tell you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life, and doesn't come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of life is from John chapter 11, verses 25 through 26. It says, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will still live, even if he dies. Whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? This concludes our Bible study on the topic of life. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to life, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.